Hey you guys, Kimberly here. I am doing this fun project today and I just found it on a YouTube channel and realized that there are several people making them and they just really appeal to my sensibilities, especially when you have a bunch of papers that you'd like to use up. And in this case, I had purchased some beautiful six by six um, lightweight cardstock, probably more index weight, um, double-sided papers and they're just beautiful. So that's what I'm using to make these hidden paper clip book tags or tags. Um, and they're just, they're charming. I just love them so much. So I thought I would go ahead and make this little video um, as much to remind me how to do them as to maybe share with a few of you. Okay, so the first thing is there's no real set um, dimensions for these book tags. They can really be as much as big or as small as you would like to make them. Um, I'll show you how I make them and then you can determine sizes. But this particular one is one and three quarters inch for the back paper and then the front paper is going to fit on like this. And you have a nice little border and a minor probably quarter inch around border. So this is one and a quarter inch. Um, and a little shorter. But as far as measuring this length, I think this is close to three inches. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little over. It's three and a quarter inches. One, two, three and a quarter. Yes. But you can make them three. You can make them much longer. It's whatever you want. So this is how they're going to fit. Here's the book. And when you have your finished tag, it's just, it's this is one that's finished and glued and it's just going to, the little flap is right like that, right? And you're just going to slip it over your page to bookmark or tag. And it just fits snugly just like that. And there you have. And the paper clip is not abrading the paper because it's, um, it's got a nice buffer surface with this paper, but I'll show you how to put them together if you've never done these before. This was new to me, so I was excited to make them. All right, so we have the paper here. I've got two pieces cut of some kind of coordinating paper, but like I said, it's really perfect for using up your scraps. And on this particular, on the small piece where you've got your crease, I'm going to use my X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut a slit just big enough in the center of the, of the fold, just big enough to manage a small paper clip. I'm going to make two for you. We're going to do a big paper clip and a small one. And the paper clip goes on the larger piece of paper. And we're going to go push it down like that so that just this little part is sticking up, okay? Then we've cut our slit in the center of this piece, right? And we're going to fit that gently over to fit the paper clip poking through. And I'm just going to adjust it. You can adjust it a little bit more. It's not glued down yet. So I'm just going to keep it like that, all right? And here, let me do another one real quick. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the tags before we glue them. So we got this big piece here. I've got my small piece. And I'm going to cut my little slit right in the middle. Oh, now we're going to make a big paper clip. So my slit is going to be big enough, wide enough to accommodate a larger paper clip. But the small paper clips, I just don't have any more. I can't believe that, can you? <laughs> um, but the smaller clip works better just because these are smaller tags. And also when you go to glue them down, you don't have the larger clip, maybe the impression showing through. But if you were making a larger book tag or a bookmark, then you definitely could um, use these larger paper clips. Okay, so we've got that one, that one. I've got three here. All right, four, five. 
I've got one more, but I'm not going to do that one. Okay, so now I just have some sorry um, little ribbons here, but you can use anything. You can use regular, you can use grain. you can use just any kind of ribbon that you have that you want to use for a tag, but I just really love the sorry, and I have found something that's um, relatively matchy-matchy, but not exact. This paper has a real pale blue in the background, and so this pale blue ribbon works good, and you just pull it through like that, and you don't have to tie it because what you're going to do is push. Let's put this. You're going to push the paper clip down inside the book tag. And it's going to stay because we're going to glue that paper clip down. And this is a little long, so I'm just going to go ahead and just trim my tag a little bit, but you can keep them longer if you'd like. All right, that's not coordinating. So let's do, let's do another one here with the coordinating. Let's do this one. So I'm going to line it up again and make sure that my paper clip is in the center and that my papers are centered. And I'm going to pull that through. and even those edges up and I'm just going to push that paper clip down inside like that. Okay, then for the glue. So I have some art glitter glue here, but PVA glue would work great too. Anything that you know is going to set up well. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and put plenty of glue on here. I don't like to go too close to the edge because I don't like it I don't like the glue to ooze out, but I like to put a little extra in those seams right there. And then I put a little bit on this bottom part. And then I fold it down and I just hold everything down just until I know the glue is going to hold it. Flip it over, and do the same on the other side. A little bit in the seams, we're in the fold there. I love, love, love these little fine point applicators for these glue bottles. And I have one other little tip I want to do. This is as much a reminder for myself as it is for sharing with you. And I'm going to leave these long for right now just because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them. If they're going to be in a book or if they're going to be in a, um, sorry, trying to do and talk. It's not my strong, my strong suit. <laughs> I'd have to work on that if I did a lot more videos. Um, yeah, I'm just not quite sure the application for these little tags yet. I might want to keep the ribbon long. So I've got another one here. I'm pushing it down. I'm opening up the flap. Apply my glue. I love these papers. They're just so pretty. And I'm going to put my... So what I want to show you is if you're doing a lot of gluing, I learned this very neat trick um, watching my friend Eileen Hull do a live demonstration. And where's my little cup? There it is. Let me grab it. So she had a little container this is just a little detergent bottle cap. And she had a paper towel inside and she saturated. I'm using a spray bottle off camera so I don't spray my papers accidentally. And she wetted her paper towel and she just keeps it there 
and when she's done instead of capping it every time she's done using it to keep it from drying out she puts it upside down on the wetted paper towel and that keeps that nozzle from getting dried out and I just love that And especially when you're doing projects that you're reaching for that glue all the time. Because it's kind of a pain getting these glue nozzles unplugged if they dry out. But anyway, I just think this is such a nifty little project. And it's a kind of a no-brainer so once you've made a couple of them you don't have to really think too much and they just slide right on the page and if you made lots of them you could use them as markers for your favorite pages that you want to be able to refer to. You could use them for recipe books. You could use them for quote books. Anyway, I just think those are just so, so fun. And then I had all of these that I made last night first with some different papers. They were all in the same, in the same book. This is a little larger. I kind of like that size. But I have this very nice, deep forest green, sorry, ribbon. So there you, there you go. And I hope if you make one that you will be as pleased with your end result as I, I am. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.